In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can actually share your Wi-Fi and the network that you're connected to along with the password without giving the password away. So you don't have to grab someone's phone and type the password in. You can do it very easily using this method. Let's begin. Now, there are of course some things to pay attention to. At first, you have to be connected to a Wi-Fi network, but this is kind of obvious. Then what you need to do is to click on the link which is down below in the description of this video. This will get you to this page, you will only have to do it once to set things up, but once you do that then you can just move on and you don't have to come to this website again. So this very quick shortcut just allows you to share your Wi-Fi network using just the QR code. Now just click on add shortcut and this will redirect you to your shortcuts app, the iOS stock shortcuts that you have to have downloaded at first, but this is kind of expected. If you don't have that, just head over to the app store, search for iOS shortcuts and the first thing that pops up, you need to have that installed. Here you can browse through the stuff if you really want to like read what really stands here, but it's not really relevant information. So if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you can see there is this red button which says add untrusted shortcut. Once you hit that, the shortcut will be added. In case you don't have that available, that means that your phone and doesn't really allow untrusted shortcuts. In that case, you have to come to the settings, scroll all the way to the iOS shortcuts app and make sure to hit uh, the uh, green thing, make sure to tick it on uh, where it says allow untrusted shortcuts. If that option is even grayed out, you need to run some sort of shortcut at first and then decide what you really want to do. So they just want you to try out the app at first and then decide if you want to allow untrusted shortcuts or not. Okay, but add this one to your gallery and now you can just run it from the shortcuts app, but the better idea would be to simply add it to your home screen and you can add the widget which only has the purpose of triggering this action. So you can add it right there. So just go through the process of adding the widget. I mean, you are familiar with the iOS 14 interface. Just click on add shortcut. You can choose from all of the sizes and everything, but just choose and make sure to click on the, the latest one, which is share Wi-Fi, of course. So add it to the home screen. And whenever you click on it, this is how this actually works. Whenever you tap on it, it doesn't really take long at all. You have to be connected to, to Wi-Fi network at first, like I said, but this will show up a huge QR code on the screen whenever you tap on it. So the way it works is that every time you someone asks to connect to your Wi-Fi, you hit that shortcut, you hit that widget, and a huge a QR code pops up, the other person takes out their phone, opens their camera and simply points it at the QR code, make sure to scan it. Then the other phone will get a pop-up which will allow them to simply hit the join and the network that you are connected to will also become the network they connect to. So this is how this actually works and it works really well, it works seamlessly, it doesn't matter, it's not like you set it up for one specific network, every time you connect to something it just always shares that specific one. So you don't tell them your password, everything is just like it's supposed to be but while still giving you the option to share your Wi-Fi. People even print out their QR codes and have them around the house. So every time somebody comes to visit them, they can easily just scan it and, and connect. I mean, this is pretty neat, but you can also use it right on the phone. So this was it, guys. I want to say thank you very much for watching. I really do hope that this video and this kind of tutorial helped you. I really do hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you want to support it, what you can do is to hit the thumbs up. I would definitely appreciate it. And also subscribe so you don't miss the next uploads and the next videos where I will be talking about the same stuff or something more Apple related, just like all the time. So thanks a lot for watching and your support and see you guys later in the next video. Peace out.